Hello everyone. A major global IT outage in uh, Microsoft's uh, Azure platform and uh, the Office 365 application has disrupted companies and uh, banks, resulting in uh, flight cancellations and other business disruptions. Microsoft has in turn attributed the error to another organization called CrowdStrike, who apparently did some faulty update or misconfiguration in the system. So what are the uh, insurance uh, in coverage implications arising out of this incident? Can the affected uh, organizations uh, get insurance coverage uh, for their business interruption and other losses they might have sustained? Firstly, we can classify the uh, losses into three categories. One, there can be property damage arising out of uh, damage to hardware caused by repeated shutdowns of the uh, uh, incident, arising from the incident. The second is the uh, business interruption due to non-availability of service arising from the outage. And third is the liability uh, actions or claims from third parties uh, who are affected by this uh, lack of service from the insured organization. So as regards the damage to property is concerned or the IT hardware is concerned, this can be covered under traditional electronic equipment policy or uh, any other property insurance policies. The next comes the business interruption. If there is business interruption, but there is no attendant property damage, it's a non-damage uh, business interruption due to service outage alone. This can be potentially covered. I am repeating the term potentially covered under a cyber insurance policy. But again, this depends on the language which is used in the cyber insurance policies as to what the coverage trigger is. If the cyber insurance policy says that the coverage trigger is for a cyber event or a cyber attack, then it is possible that there won't be any coverage for the business interruption. This is due to the reason that this incident is not a cyber incident or a cyber attack. There is no malicious intent. This was caused by faulty programming and therefore coverage may not be available for this event under a cyber policy. But some cyber policies offer coverage for non-cyber attack system failures also. So under such policies, uh, coverage will be available for the business interruption subject to other terms and conditions of the policy. Now, uh, coming to the liability uh, scenario, there can be uh, liability actions from third parties, like uh, airlines may face action from third parties arising out of uh, flight cancellations. So these uh, also can potentially be covered under cyber insurance, uh, provided the coverage trigger is available. Then there can be conduit liability claims. So if a third party is dependent on your system, and because of outage in your system, he is not able to use his system, then it is called the conduit liability. So conduit liability or claims can also be coming in in respect of this uh, event. Now coming to CGL and uh, PA policies, commercial general liability and professional indemnity policies. I would think that the likelihood of claims arising out of CGL or PI policies is quite remote. Firstly, there is unlikely to be any third party injury or uh, bodily damage or property damage arising from this event. And uh, uh, there is no negligence or breach of duty or wrongful act on the part of the insured organization. So the coverage trigger for both PI and CGL is absent 
So claims are unlikely to be uh, coming in in respect of CGL or PA policies. Now, what should an insured organization which is affected by this outage do under the circumstances? They should uh, get in touch with your insurance broker or the insurance company and take advice. Uh, cyber policies provide for crisis response coverage. Uh, so it is uh, possible to get professional advice on uh, risk mitigation and system restoration arranged by a service provided by the insurance company. So this can be utilized uh, by the insured organization. Thank you very much.